Meanwhile, earlier today, police fired gunshots and tear gas to disperse a large crowd protesting the plans by the River State House of Assembly to impeach the governor, Simin Alayi Fubara. The clash between the police, the governor, and his supporters broke out moments after lawmakers signed the process for impeachment at the resumed plenary inside the House of Assembly, House of Assembly complex in Port Harcourt. Senior correspondent Ucho Kuru reports. Despite the fire incident that damaged the chamber of the state assembly, the lawmakers insisted on continuing with the business of the day. After inspecting the level of damage, the 24 lawmakers decided to convene in the auditorium. Edison, Ehe. The speaker, Martins Amehuli, spared no words in accusing the leader of the House, Edison Ehe, and the incumbent administration of masterminding the attack. Motion to remove. The House immediately proceeded to remove and suspend the leader and four other lawmakers. Second motion. But the most significant step taken by the lawmakers was the signing of an impeachment notice against the governor by 24 out of the 32 member assembly. Edison Ehe and all those who sponsored him who do not want this arm of government to do their job in line with the constitution should be held accountable for what they have done. But we remain undaunted. We will do what we need to do because we have been empowered by the constitution. We have been empowered by the constitution and we will not relent. We will not shy away from our constitutional duties. Shortly after the sitting, the police resorted to force in dispersing the governor and a large crowd surging towards the assembly complex in defiance against the move by the lawmakers. Upon arrival at the House of Assembly complex, Governor Fubara condemned the impeachment move as an illegality. What is important is any attempt that is not justified will be resisted. Let them come out. Let them come out. Tell, tell, tell reverse people, reverse people, that offense. All adjoining roads leading to the River State House of Assembly complex remain cordoned off by heavily armed police officers to prevent further breakdown of law and order. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.